Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the discovery of a mysterious cosmic companion that Earth has been sharing Earth's orbit for the past 60 years, only now coming into view. Earth has a new quasi-moon that has been right there all along, but somehow scientists failed to see it earlier. Named 2025 PN7, it has been near our planet for decades, moving in a stable orbit. It will remain there for several more to come. The finding was published in research notes of the American Astronomical Society. The quasi-moon was discovered on August 2nd by the Pan-STARRS Observatory in Hawaii. After astronomers spotted 2025 PN7, they scanned through past data from the telescope to see whether it had been observed earlier. To their surprise, they found images of the quasi-moon dating back to 2014. They noted that it has been moving alongside Earth in a stable orbit for over 60 years. It is not going anywhere for 60 more years when it will ultimately escape and drift away. Notably, Earth has around seven such quasi-moons. Quasi-moons are nothing but asteroids that are on similar orbits to our planet. However, they aren't caught by Earth's gravitational force and are only influenced by it. This is why they do not fully qualify to be called a moon. They share Earth's orbit around the Sun and do not actually orbit the planet. Scientists have stated that 2025 PN7 is around 62 feet wide and between 4.5 million kilometers and 59.8 million kilometers away from Earth. It belongs to an elite group of near-Earth asteroids. The Pan-STARRS Observatory located the quasi-moon in the constellation Piscis Austrinus. One of the most famous quasi-moons is Kamo'oalewa, officially known as 2016 HO3. It was detected on April 27, 2016, and has an elongated shape instead of a sphere. It measures between 131 and 328 feet across, and a Chinese mission will soon study the quasi-moon. The Tianwen-2 mission was launched in May this year and has been designed to collect samples from Kamo'oliwa. It will bring them back to Earth in 2027. The aim of the mission is to find clues that could offer more insights into the origin of the solar system. No, quasi-moons and mini-moons are not the same. As mentioned above, quasi-moons orbit in the same path as Earth, sharing its space and keeping pace with it. They are asteroids influenced by Earth's gravity, but not caught by it. Meanwhile, mini-moons are asteroids that get caught in Earth's gravitational force. They are also temporary and drift away within weeks to a few years. Quasi-moons, on the other hand, accompany the planet for a longer time. We had a mini-moon last year when asteroid 2024 PT5 visited and stayed from September 29th to November 25. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.